Hey guys, Nick Smith here, and today I'm going to show you a few quick ways to add a fake lens or sun flare to your photos. So the first thing we want to do is create a new layer. I'm going to do that by hitting Control alt shift n on the keyboard or Command-Option-Shift-N if you're on Mac. Then we're going to hit G to bring up the Gradient tool. Now we want to select Radial Gradient, which is the second one right here, and we want to make sure it's on Color to Transparency, and that's the second one in the menu. Now, I already selected a color I like in here just to make this video a little faster, but you want to select something in the yellow, orange, red range usually, because that's the color the sun would you know, be putting off. So what we want to do now is we want to just go ahead and click outside and drag in, and then that kind of adds the flare. I'm not exactly happy with that positioning, so I'm going to come over here and do this like that. So that adds that in. And if you like the way that looks, you can just kind of leave it there, but that's just a normal blending mode. And typically I like to select something else. So we can do soft light, which will color it a little bit, or we can do my favorite, which is screen. And that just makes it like really bright and there's brightens all the areas. And then I usually lower the opacity, something like 50. And we just toggle that on and off. And if you want to change the color up, you can hit command U or control U, and then go ahead and grab your hue slider here and you can actually just kind of tweak it to wherever you want it. Like, so say I want a little more orange, or I want it a little more towards green, yellow, I can do that, whatever. I'm really happy with what it is now though. So that's our first method. Now, the second method is create another new layer, Control Alt Option, or Control Alt Shift N, or Command Option Shift N. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna fill it with black and you're gonna do that by hitting Shift F5 to bring up the fill dialog. And you can just hit black and it's going to just completely cover it. Now we're going to go ahead and change our blending mode to screen. And what that does is it makes it so black is basically invisible. There's no way to actually see anything under it because screen only shows things that are lightning. So then we're going to go to filter and then we're going to go to render and then lens flare. And now there's three different types of flare you can select here. And I typically will use the 50 to 300 or the 105. I don't really like the way the 35 looks, so I don't use it that much. So we'll go ahead and do this. And if you want to, you can click here and drag it and kind of customize where it goes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now, the reason we did this on a black layer is because if you just do this on the image itself, you can't actually move or adjust it at all. So by putting it on a black layer, we can actually move it around and transform it. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit Command T so I can transform it under Control T and then drag it up like that. I'm actually gonna rotate it a little bit because I don't want it too much on her face. Actually, I wanna make it a little larger just so get it off there. Okay, confirm that. Let's bring that back center. Okay, and there's that. And now, just like before, we can adjust the opacity to be something a little more subtle, or just kind of increase that, or we can just leave it full strength. So that's the second way to do it. Now, the third way is probably my favorite way, just because it's I find it easier to do it this way than the gradient or that flare and I think it looks a little more natural. So create another layer, Control Alt Shift N, Command Option Shift N on Mac, hit B to bring up your brush tool. Now you want to right click and make sure you're on this brush, which is just a soft edge brush, 0% hardness. So then we're going to go ahead and drag that out to make it larger. And then we're going to just click and put a circle. That's all it is for now. So now we're going to hit Control T. And we can actually resize it to however big we want now. And shape the flare however we see fit. So I want it very large. I want it pretty solid in the corner. I want it to come over her face just a little bit, kind of down onto her hands like that. Drag that up a little, it's kind of fading. Resize it, drag it, and then just find where you want it, put it. Confirm it by hitting enter, and then you can always hit command T or control T again, and redo it. And I'm going to change the blending mode to screen. That's color dodge, you don't want to use that. Screen, and then dial in something like 50, that's 30, 20. 
I think 50 looks good just to like kind of show how the example works. It's almost a little too strong. So I think about 40 would be good. Now, I think it could be a little warmer. So I'm gonna hit Command U, or Control U. I'm gonna drag it over just a little bit. Kind of warm it up a tad bit. All right, and now if we want to go ahead and clean up a, off of her face just a little, we can hit E for the erasing tool and then just kind of paint right over her face just so it doesn't affect her skin tone too much. And I think that looks a bit fake. It kind of shows. So what our options are is we can either put it back on, we can undo it, or we can just kind of paint over the rest of the clothes so it looks more like the flares in the background and not actually on her, which kind of makes it look like the background was a bit hazy. It was foggy, kind of catching some light, you know, it, it doesn't look as fake as just having it off there. So see, now it just kind of looks like that's what was going on behind her. There's a little on her dress still. Clean that up. And overall, I think that looks good. Please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you learned something from today's video so it's easier for other people to find me and learn from me as well. Feel free to share this on Facebook, Reddit, Twitter, any social media you see fit. I don't care. As long as my stuff's being shared and people are learning, I'm happy. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.